Hey, my Love Island USA fans. Yes, we are back with another video, more drama, and we got raunchy races, and we got all type of heads twisting in this episode, so we got to talk about it. Welcome back to Romance Review TV. It's Lady T. I got another recap for you guys. Love Island USA season number five, episode 22, and without any further ado, let's talk about what's going on in these villas. So we start off with none other than Marco as his ex Hannah O has made it into the villa and she wants to know which Hannah does he actually truly want. Are you like 100% for Hannah? Like I think I just need to hear it. Yeah, that's a good question, Marco. Which Hannah are you going to choose? And you know that decision is coming up soon. So yeah, we got to keep watching. So first, things were shaken up in the villas yesterday. Well, they get a text message as we begin raunchy races. And I'm telling you, after we get to see what's going on in these villas, everything is getting real raunchy. I got a text! I got a text! What is that, Greylanders? Today, the villa and Casa Moore will be competing in a game of raunchy races. The winning villa will party. Hashtag pucker up. Hashtag it's on. <laughs> we gotta be the, the raunchiest, well, I'm the raunchiest. Yes, and the quickest. I don't know what it is with me in competitions. Like this little like monster comes out of me. Let's go. <laughs> Share a smooch with the islander you're sharing a bed with. Let's go, go yeah. Keenan was kissing somebody more passionate than that. Get into your favorite sex position with the Islander or you fancy the most. Go, 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 go. Oh. So can we highlight a little bit about Bergy as he definitely gets some action during this game, Raunchy Races. The least amount of tattoos must sit on the lap of a boy who's a Virgo and give him a kiss. Go. Who's a Virgo? I'm a Virgo. Please tattoos. Please tattoos. Just go. Just go. Get on him. Give me a kiss. Woo! <laughs> Virgo! Bergie definitely got some action in that game. I gotta say, however, Jonah tried to beat him to the punch, but obviously he had too many tattoos. Now let's talk about Cassie, because Cassie ain't even thinking about Leonardo at this point. She's a very popular girl in Casa right now, as she has a connection with both Batia and Rob. But check this out, because she's been keeping a little bit of secret from the girls when it came to Batia. Did anybody feel like they had fireworks during the kiss during this challenge? Look at her smiling. Cassie. Oh, yeah. Have you kids before? Oh, I didn't tell y'all. Wanna go to the bedroom? Yeah. Okay. Oh God. She keeps trying to like be like Leo. Oh, the God. thing is, it's like all my conversations with you are just very really shallow. Shallow. I almost find like Leo's too good for her. All we can do is support the decision she's making. So it looks like even though she's sneaking and creeping over on Casa with Mattia, Johnny is making sure she's laying claims on Leonardo, or shall I say vice versa. But yeah, these two are getting really close. I kind of want to know where your head's at, because I haven't really felt this way in a while. You are full, and like you have something that right now is not here. Can I reassure you of something? What? Now could be some trouble. Yep, Leonardo, you are definitely in some trouble. Not more trouble than, of course, your girl Cassie is, because both of y'all are cutting up in both sides of these villas. However, that now leaves some questions in the head of KK in regard to how they won that game. And one of the parts of that game affected her guy, Keenan, and she want to know what's up. Ain't no way. No. Somebody over there? 
Hmm. Because that was, he got to choose who he got to kiss on that one. And he won, and he chose to kiss that girl specifically. Hmm. It do has me thinking, like, what's going on over there? Uh, KK, I can understand why you might have some questions, but that was during the challenge. Remember the kisses that you had with Brandon outside of the challenge? Yeah, that might leave a question mark too. And remember, you had a whole new epiphany and a whole new journey inside of Casa. So, hey, this is all part of the game. Well, now let's talk about Rob and Carmen. Now, before approaching Carmen, he has a conversation with Hannah. And Hannah is giving him all of the details on how to pursue Carmen. The problem is there's Kenzo in the other villa awaiting her, at least so we think. But you know what? Hannah have no problem making him do a beeline straight to Carmen. I'm serious about her. And I just thought I'd let you know and maybe ask if you had any advice. I know she has a strong connection. I know like going for her is like probably kind of crazy, but I don't really care. I like her. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, so here's the thing with Carmen. So her and Kenzo, both from Scottsdale, you know, they got that going on. Home court advantage, you know what I mean? Yeah. But the situation's still very new. Right. right. So it's almost like it'd be a disservice for her not to get to know you. Yeah. And she likes that you're funny. I, lo I love making her laugh. Like when she smiles, it gives me a little hit of serotonin. Oh. But I, I do think I want to be a little more serious right. because I feel like I, like I've just, I've kind of just tried to be like goofy, laugh, like which is good. Break the ice, but yeah, I think, I think I'm trying to turn up the heat a little bit. Definitely. And like the things that matter. Turn up the heat. I think you know what to do. She's definitely interested. That's good. So that's shoot. That's huge. Yeah. Okay. So you're like 50 and 50 out. How about 100 percent in here? and then decide what you want to do with you. I feel like I can give you 80. Uh, it, okay, I'll take it. But like I do still feel like, at least for now especially, maybe I'll get it, but I feel like while I'm at 80, you're gonna sleep outside. But that's the one part where I'm sleep gonna outside. have to be like. I get that, I get that. Yeah. I get it's a respect thing and I'm just putting that out there. So now while Rob is putting in his bid with Carmen, across over at the OG Villa, we see a conversation happening between Bergie and Allie. Now I told you guys yesterday there's a five-year age difference between these two with her being 28, he being 23. And I'm telling you, look like she's about to put him in the friend zone win a ticket to stay here longer. Like if I'm not 100% in anything, I will not gotcha. because it's just not, it's not worth it to me. I'm not entirely sure like no. what Which this is. I'm not, yeah. like, I'm not, yeah. I don't know anything. <laughs> I don't know shit. <laughs> And I'm not going to pretend No to. sweat, Bergie, because it looks like Taylor, who's a little bit more your speed at the age of 24. Yeah, she's loving your pancakes, and both of you guys' love language is acts of service. So this might be a match. I heard that you make good pancakes. Chocolate chip pancakes? Yeah. I can make some tomorrow. So, like, one of my love languages is doing acts of service. Mine is as well. I'm yeah. very words of affirmation and acts of service. I love that. Like, you've really surprised me, like... I mean, I feel very comfortable. You feel like a safe space. Thank and you. like, I am attracted to you, so. I'm attracted to you as well. Like. Okay, Bergie, look like we got mutual attraction between him and Taylor. I'm hoping this is legit though, but we'll have to see how this all pans out. My question is, is Bergie really truly interested in her? It remains to be seen. So remember I said earlier in the video, KK was wondering what the heck is going on in the villa with Keenan? Well, Houston, we have a problem down below as it looked like he is getting hard, and I don't mean getting in any hard work, he's getting hard. Exactly, I need a minute. I gotta walk away. No, because I got readjusted to the belt. You are really a dangerous creature. Do not do that. I'm hard to stop. You cannot touch me. You cannot touch me right now. Like, 
nice dog. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> Wow, you want to bet? You want to bet? I'm about to hit you with this damn bell. You need to cover up right there, huh? Okay. Yeah. Your body is terrific, man. And your face is terrific. And you look pretty well with makeup on. Naja, the nursing student, has got him on 10. I'm assuming at least 10. Anyway, the thing is, yeah, KK was wondering what's going on in that villa. Obviously, girlfriend, I don't think you want to know the half of it because I don't think you'd be too happy. Now, she does have something going on with Brandon over in Casa. So, in my opinion, these two are on thin ice. Okay, so let's get the conversation started down in the comment section. What are you thinking in regards to some of our singles? I'm seeing a lot of heads twisting. I mean, we got the situation with Leo and Cassie. We have the whole situation with Carmen and Kenzo. Their heads might switch. And what the heck is going on with KK and Keenan? I think it's just about over. So I hope you enjoyed this recap. Stay tuned for other recaps and updates on this channel. And until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Bye.